ELCB and RCCB to most confusing term in the history of electrical engineering. So let's check them out and find out what's the difference. Welcome to my YouTube channel Thakar Ki Patshala and this video is about difference between ELCB and RCCB. You all know the full form but let's start with it. ELCB stands for Earth Leakage Circuit Breaker and RCCB or RCD stands for Residual Current Circuit Breaker or Residual Current Device. Now let's take a look at difference in operating principle of them individually. ELCBs, if we clarify this name further, then specifically VOELCB means Voltage Operated Earth Leakage Circuit Breaker. They operate by sensing earth voltage. Let's take a quick look at construction and working of ELCB. As we can see in this diagram, this is the incoming power line and this is the outgoing power line. This is the block which consists the tripping coil which will energize and pull the plunger once the fault is detected. And this is the main part of whole system. This wire directly goes into the ground via earthing road. And this wire is coming from metal enclosure. So if there is fault like if bare wire is touching to the metal enclosure of device, then voltage difference will be generated between metal casing of device and ground. So the tripping coil will be energized and pull this contact apart and supply will be stopped. Now let's take a quick look at construction and working of RCCB. As the name suggests, these are current operated devices. RCCB operate on the difference between phase and neutral current. There is no need of good earthing here for proper operation. In this device, what happen will that this search coil will always search for residual current. If the system is working fine, then whatever is input current will be output current. But if there is leakage of current anywhere, then this balance will be disturbed and it will cause magnetic flux in this coil and that will work as trip signal for the circuit breaker. I have explained about working principle of RCCB in my one of earlier video. So if you want detailed information, then you can check out here. As soon as I make detailed video on working of ELCB, I will leave a link of that here. So that was the major construction and working difference. Now let's take a look at some other minor differences between them. If we want to say then we can say from above discussion that ELCB are voltage operated devices and RCCB are current operated device. ELCB require a good earthing wire connected to it. For RCCB it is not necessary as they operate on difference between phase and neutral current. So it is plus point of RCCB that it can operate without involving earth wire. Also one more difference is that for ELCB to operate it is necessary that leakage current should flow from the ground wire or earth wire. If leakage current take any other path then it will be not sensed by ELCB and it will not operate. This is not the case with RCCB because they don't rely on earth wire. Apart from this ELCB are nowadays sort of obsolete devices. They are no longer in operation and hardly anyone is using them for newer installation. Because RCCB are more sensitive and don't require earth wire to operate. Let's look at how this great confusion has occurred. Voltage operated ELCBs were introduced many years ago. Then some year later current operated devices were introduced. And they were also called as ELCB because they were doing the same thing. It was easy to remember and popular name. Also people were get used to this name. But it has created great confusion in industry. So, IEC has decided to give different name to current operated device and they termed them as RCCB or RCD. So, this confusion is from that time and it is still there. I hope you have found this video helpful and learned something from it. If so, then hit that like button, share it with those who might get benefit from it. You can also comment if you have found any mistake or want me to cover any specific topic. To get more videos like this, hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon. So, that's it for now. We will meet in my next video.